Lord, glory to God. Okay, um, we have got some very big words coming out. Um, I'm telling you guys, it's like, you know, we were we were on with the team a couple nights ago saying, it's like, you know, the words are, it, it's so much, so fast and so strong. I'm like, who, who could possibly hear all of these words from all these different people who don't know each other, completely confirming each other. I mean, every word is confirming the other one. And people still don't see it and still don't believe it. It just, I, it makes no sense to me. I, I can't even fathom it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and share these words, some very, very powerful words. Um, flee to the mountains. Uh, 3M, Pro 3M Prophecy is the name that they go by from today. Word given, 81720. As an end time messenger of the Lord, I humbly bring forth this message from my Lord. Tell my people to tell the people the king has just declared a thing. He called for the just and he called for them to flee to the countryside. Tell them to put out a call, run to the mountains, run to the hills, for a blast is coming that will shake the heavens. Tomorrow it will hit. Be ready with the gifts of love. I believe the Lord's uh, tomorrow that he speaks is emphasizing imminent. Get out of the major cities as quickly as possible. He wants those already in the country, in the mountains, in the hills to embrace and love those he sends. Guys, anybody who's out in the country, we're out in, out in the country, be ready. God is going to send people to us. He's going to send people for us to help. All right. Although some of you out there may be led to get out too. So if you're in a big cities, my goodness, if you're able, please leave the cities, please. Unless God's specifically telling you to stay, please leave the city. You know, I don't know. Some of you may not have money to do so. So just hunker down and pray. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not sending you fear. I'm just telling you God's warning us. These are warnings straight from the father, straight from Jesus. You know, they're not little things. He's saying, get out of the city. So, you know, I don't know how much of a, a more of a warning that we can give. Get out of the cities. Period. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. I don't know. What else. It's really, it's hard. So this is a great word. Um, very powerful. So I'm going to put all these links under, but flee to the mountains, guys. Get out, get out of the cities. Get out of the cities. Okay. Next one. Time's up. Time's up. It's up. Darkness is coming. This is from a few days ago. Um, I'm, I'm reading it now because it's really, really powerful. And it's, and it's crazy because um, there was another word that we were just listening last night that totally confirmed this about um, the uh, um, emergency broadcast system. All right. I'm going to go ahead and read this. These are words that uh, this person got on the tw uh, July 12th and July 22nd. First Thessalonians, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And as we know, peace and safety has officially been announced with the peace accord. So eyes open, guys. There's not a lot of time left at all. Please make it right with God before it's too late. For the kingdom of God is at hand. I'm just sharing some, some more rapture end time dreams that I received last month, uh, July 2020. Just giving you guys a heads up of what's coming to the earth, so brace yourselves, please. I'm not telling you guys this to become fearful, but to be prepared and get your house in order. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 I had a flash dream about the emergency alert system flashing all over the world, all at the same time of the incoming fireballs falling from the sky. Then I hear panic, fear, chaos. Then I saw a clock ticking and then I hear the voice saying, time's up, time's up. Dream, July 22nd, 2020, I had another snapshot dream about the darkness that's coming on the earth. And in the dream, there was no light at all. It was so dark. I could not see anything at all, not even my hands, for how dark it was. And then I heard 
darkness is coming. And then the same voice kept saying, repent, repent, repent. I'm not going to read this whole thing because I think I also read it the other day, but this is such a powerful message. I wanted to make sure I got it out in case I didn't and I didn't have time to check my other one. So I definitely want you guys to see this. This is heavy. Um, if you want to read the whole message, again, it's really basically reinforcing. But the emergency alert system, that I wanted to repeat it because last night we heard another message that said, this is going to happen. We're going to see the emergency alert system go on all around the world simultaneously, guys. And I really think it's because these uh, the incoming um, asteroids um, and whatever else is coming in. Could even be uh, Nibiru. Who knows? Okay. But be ready. Be, brace yourselves, guys. All right. Now, the cross. This is God's gift from last night. I'm going to go ahead and play that. God's gifts. Hey, everybody. Um, I wanted to bring you this 46-second uh, U.S. Navy video that just came out three minutes ago. It's 1214, and it's called Close In Weapon System Live Fire All Systems Go. Now, down here it says, um, where is it at? This is a, a guided missile destroyer. DDG-104 fires its close-in weapon system during a live fire exercise. It is part of the Nimitz Carrier Strike Group and is deployed to the U.S. 5th Fleet Area of Operations to ensure maritime stability and security. Guys, these words are used constantly when they talk about these peace agreements, stability and security in the central region connecting to the Mediterranean and Pacific through the Western Indian Ocean and three critical, this is what got me, choke points to the free flow of global commerce. United States Navy video by mass communications specialist Seaman Drance Wilson released. So I want you to watch this and then I'm going to give you two words that I received in the last two days. <laughs> Okay, notice the smoke that's coming off of that. I'll try and back it up here. It reminded me of the smoke coming from the dragon. And what I wanted to tell you guys, yesterday morning I woke up and I heard we were crossing the river. Um, it's like we're at the edge of the river and the river was really flowing and I thought how are we going to cross that and in my mind I just got extreme peace this morning I woke up and I heard seven more days and I didn't even know the date today is the 16th he told me you know we were getting ready to go on that journey so I don't know if he's preparing us now but he said seven more days that would lead us to the 23rd something to behold. I pray you guys are blessed. I know those with eyes wide open understand this message. God bless you all. God keep you. God strengthen you. May he gird our loins and prepare us for what is coming. I love you all. This is God's gifts. Be blessed. Wow. Seven days. Imminent, guys. Imminent, imminent, imminent. Um, praise the Lord. And yes, Cam, it will be sudden. It will be sudden. But he he will absolutely guide us at the right moment. He will. And we'll be all fine. Praise the Lord. Okay, so now another one by this awesome brother. Let's see what he's got, what the Lord's got today. Hear me now, oh my son. Prepare for change in government. 
Prepare for change in leadership. Prepare, O oh my saints, for change in your country. Prepare, O oh saints, for persecution. Prepare, O oh saints, for mourning and weeping. And prepare, O oh saints, for joy and gladness. For your redemption comes quickly. Prepare, 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 says the Lord. My reward is with me, says your God. Ah, oh, such powerful messages through this, brother. Powerful. I mean, I, I don't know how many times we can say this is it. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how many times we can say it. Um, this is very strong. Um, I'm going to see if I can just play some of it for you because it's 30, 34 minutes. We're not going to play the whole thing, obviously, but I know I'm going to get a little bit forward so we can get some of what she's saying. No, twice. Prophesy three times and times again. Beginning of the word by the Lord. Many warnings have went out, and many lampstands have went out. I, the Lord, stand at the door and knock. I open doors, and I close doors, and they will not be opened again. Once a door is shut, again I say, it will not be opened. Make haste, for the time is passing. What do you see? I walk the earth and see a nation devastated by words of others. Weeds grown up to quench my Holy Spirit. Thoughts of suicide, death, fear, and anger have became the thoughts of many. There is a shame upon your land, says the Lord. Abominations have gone on and are everywhere. People are looking to other people for words, for answers, while they snuff out the only voice of God that can help them. Children, once innocent, have no innocence. It is taken from them for lawlessness and abuse and selfish lusts have taken many through no fault of their own. Filthy lucre. Family and the importance of reading the Bible have become no more as jobs, money, positions, power, elections, politics, and the such have taken over. Again, there is no room for me. Churches stand empty. Doors locked and closed. You can sense the change, and with it, my word grows stale. No one wants to listen anymore. Churches quietly stagnating with the stench of evil. The church silenced. The people continue to slumber, oblivious to the change, and say, it will be all right, but will it? Herein lies my answer to the nations and to the church. I will smite the nations with the sword. You have crushed my innocent ones with bloodshed, and so it shall happen to you. I will bring forth my judgments. Now he is going to define here the things coming upon the earth. Number one, blood, standing for abortion. Two, pestilence or beasts of the field. Three, famine or food. And trust me, it will not be just physical nourishment. It will be when everyone has been silenced that has been speaking warnings, especially the prophets, and there is no place to go, no one else to lean on, nowhere to look, and you'll need an answer. 
and the Bibles will not be there. And four, war or killings. And it will be your relationships with God, with Christ. These things will test you. They will test your faith and they will test your character. It will test, the, it will test everything you have ever known. Your rivers and your lakes and your running water will run red. Many people will be on the run. The smell of death will permeate the land everywhere. Evil will be all around the world. It will be the tyranny, martial law, permanent lockdowns. The soon coming Holocaust will bring much death and bring many to their knees. Your evil ones that are in office will continue even outside of office. No one will be safe. Killings of every kind will continue. I, the Lord, bring division. Many will lose what they have because of their worshiping of idols. Nuclear war will bring a whole new wave of terror. You will eventually see your lands barren, desolate, stripped, and will not yield planting. People will be separated and lose loved ones and lose rights and lose sight of their reality. People will be taken over by the robotic age. This next phase coming soon will be like nothing anyone has ever seen. The tears and the wails will be heart-wrenching. There is much more I could say, but because I am God, you could not bear it. I speak through my prophets and my prophetesses, Amos 3, 7. Take heed, you have been warned, and the people know I am God. That word was given to me during this past week. Okay, so that's the main word. The rest of it, it's a very, very heavy video. Um, God not only gave her that word, but lots and lots of correction for the body of Christ, like major correction. So I would, you know, it's good for all of us to hear this kind of a, a of a, um, I want to almost call it a chastisement for the body of Christ, like a, look, you better shape up or you're going to ship out. So you better watch it. It's time to shape up now like immediately like yesterday you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's heavy very heavy now this word completely confirms that just it, it's amazing like god's just confirming one word i'm confirming the other confirming the other confirming the other so i'm not going to play this hi brothers and sisters in christ anyone new to my channel welcome everyone well i'm not gonna hold you up i know it's been a while since i have been on youtube and um I really don't want to get into that. This word is very long, so I'd like to go ahead and start. Um, and that way it doesn't take too long to load it. And um, But uh, the compilation, I do want to say that I was has been working on. The Lord has not released it yet. But uh, there are a few other things I need to get out. And the Lord has said that He will provide a way and a time for all of those before I would be silenced because if many of you remember I said in, on March the 12th that my time on YouTube would be ending so it's almost near um, so I do want to uh, make that statement as well let you know that you can keep up with me on a community page all right now I'm gonna go ahead and begin this word is called my people will suffer because of the lack of knowledge it was given to me to, uh, this morning, this is August the 16th of 2020, around 9.27 a.m. And the Lord was just speaking about, I was in quiet tones, and He was started speaking to me about one thing in particular that He was not happy about. Uh, there are many things, but which you will see in this message, it's very stern. Um, 
So, but that's how it transpired. I'll go ahead and start. Daughter, write my words, for they are faithful and true. O oh, ye people of the earth, can you not see the danger of of danger in, in your choice to sin against me? You reject my covenant and my ways for death. You will perish in your sins, lest you repent. My children suffer for the lack of knowledge. Are you dull of hearing to hear not? Are you blind to see not your grave errors that condemn you as you reject me, the Lord thy God, time and again? And after all, after all this judgment has befell you, yet you still are blind and deaf. But more judgment will come to awaken you, shake your very core, the center of your being and shame you as your skirts will be pulled over your heads and you will wail and mourn for your transgressions against me the holy one of israel the lord of hosts and also what i got here is they're going to be very upset and there's going to be desperation and because they're looking for the old way of life and that is no longer existent we know that the, the, the change came this year and they think it's going back to normal but it will not so they will mourn that as well most will relent and come to me as i roam the earth looking deep into the heart excuse me look deep into every heart of man many will not but require more testing. I will allow it because I am sovereign. The sovereign Lord. I am cleansing the house of Israel. Those temples that are mine. I am building my church. As those. As those. These filthy lawless. Bath houses of sodomy. Satanist sanctuaries. And prosperity churches. Operate. And we know that there's still a few that operate. Not all of them are prosperity churches. Um, we see that where they're trying to shut down, you know, every church. And, of course, those that uh, they agree with, that's a different story. And I won't get into that, but you know what I mean by what I just mentioned. I'll spew their lies and doctrines of devils far and wide. None will stand, but my house of prayer will stand. My word stands. My kingdom stands. My truth prevails. It is all sufficient. Let every man be a liar, but I, the living God, I am he, faithful and true. The great purging is happening. I, the Lord, bring division. The wheat and tares are being separated even more, the sheep from the sheep, thus saith the Lord. Children, many of you continue in your unrepentant sins, and your stench piles up to the heavens to my almighty throne. I have not overlooked, ignored, forgotten, or pardoned anything. I Meaning anything that would be unconfessed, you know, will for sin. I have measured your nation and found it wanting. I have measured her people, most found wanting. I have for not forgotten that, O oh, America. You have removed me from this nation from city to city, from mountain to mountain, and every valley, from east to west and north to south, in your loftiness, from New York to California to, Michi to Michigan to Florida, and from every institution which you could. Gross darkness almost covers your nation, its peoples now. Realize not. Lawlessness abounds. I observe your deals to divide my holy land. I will not have it. As my word defines, destruction will come to those who divide it. I will divide your land, old America. I remember your erection of the ark, the archibald to serve another god in plain sight, New York. I see your sins, sin city, Las Vegas. California, I see your houses of sodomy and murder and distribution to <clears throat> excuse me distribution of countless vulgarities and the smell reaps that of, of my nostrils fill of putrid throughout this nation 
No commonplace. It's widespread. I see you kill all precious babies in your clinics as blood spills into the streets and it cries out to me for justice and you new york will suffer the greatest of these penalties because you set precedence to kill my babies at full term in plain sight in mockery and defiance against me i see your satanic sacrifices of my children and i know every dark place you commit rape and murder and drink the blood and eat of their flesh. If I do not hearken out to your state or city, do not think I have overlooked, because some will suffer their fates first in my initial judgments. Others will follow, as my sword is upon all this vile land. I have not forgotten. I, the Lord, do not forget. Seattle, your space needle will fall. St. Louis, your gateway to evil, likened to, to that of the Archer Bell, your arches will fall. San Francisco, your Golden Gate Bridge will not be golden anymore and will fall into the ocean. Los Angeles, your structures will fall and burn as Sodom and Gomorrah come to Sodom and Gomorrah and come to ash and your idols will be washed at sea washed away at sea as Pharaoh's chariots and his army were cast into the sea his finest captains drowned in the Red Sea so also shall your finest things be plunged in the sea Washington, your White House, whom you serve, gods of Olympus and of monuments, will burn and fall. New York, your Statue of Liberty, where the Queen of Nations sit to bring hope and freedom, will fall in utter destruction as fires consume and the raging seas seize and overtake her. There will be bondage upon my people and desperation. Beware Jacksonville, Orlando, Miami, Florida. Chicago, Illinois, Portland, Oregon. Houston, Texas, New Orleans, Louisiana. Did you forget Katrina and the de devastation of that storm and and the judgment in Denver, Colorado. Lucifer and your hidden cities will, will crumble and come to ash. Rocks will fall upon your heads as you call out to the mountains to hide you from my wrath that has come. The Almighty One has come down to the earth, I, I will say, and you will have no place to flee Indeed, it will be so when I come down from my holy habitation, for I am the Lamb of God. Every high and lofty thing that ex exalts itself above me will be brought low. Nothing is hidden from thee, the Creator of heaven and earth and the Lord of all. Not one sin will go unpunished. I will judge all. Again, that's unconfessed will for sin. I will repay, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine. You will be brought to naught. You will become undone. Destruction soon comes to these areas, as my prophets and watchmen have warned. Have I not said, you cannot serve two masters? Repent, repent, repent. Woe to those I find in rebellion, pride, and unrepentant sin when I come, for sin will not enter in. Blessed are those I find pure in heart, for they shall see God and inherit the kingdom of heaven. Yahushua, behold I come, and my reward is with me. And guys, that's it, and I will include the scripture in the description box as usual um, that you may review if you'd like to, um, and feel free to leave comments at this time. I'm not cutting off the comments. That may be 
um, something that the Lord will, will consider um, in coming days. Wow. I mean, these messages, guys, this is straight up. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. So, again, it totally confirmed everything in this one. <laughs> like, everything's just confirming everything else. Uh, are you ready? Byron, yep, I had this up. Uh, uh, Cam was mentioning this. This was the one that I was uh, had been planning on reading anyway, yep. This is Byron Sealy. We're down to two weeks, guys. Um, are you ready? My son, hear and write what I say to my children. And keep in mind, I want you, before I read this, I want you to keep in mind, you got to discern the parts that are for the first round and the parts that are for the second round. The ones that are referring to going through the tribulation are the second round. Okay, so just make sure you understand that. All right. My son, hear and write what I say to my children. I know many of you do not believe my watchmen who have been shouting. Get ready. Get your house in order. Get your heart in order. But I say to you now, are you ready? Many of you have heeded the words spoken and I have gotten prepared. That is good, for you have two weeks left to stock your goods. But I say again, are you ready? Are you ready to be in constant prayer for this nation? Are you ready to preach the gospel to win the lost? Are you truly ready for what lies ahead? My son, much turmoil and chaos is just ahead, and most of my children are not ready. They've been taught false doctrine by men who want, who want to think they will be gone before anything bad happens. But I say you will be here until the last Trump, the second rounders, of course, guys, is sounded, and I will be with you if you are ready. My son, this nation and those who rule from the kingdom down, do not fear me. They mock me and my word and blaspheme my holy name. They do not seek repentance. Instead, they seek the gods of this world. Do you not see my children that have taken away the pleasures of this world so you will seek me more? I t or, I'm going to say that again. Do you not see my children that I have taken away the pleasures of this world so you will seek me more. I tell you now and mark this day, a lockdown is coming that will keep all people inside. And you guys, it's going to be permanent. That confirms the other word that we just heard. Are you ready? The evil men who want to control your lives will have free reign for I will allow them to do this. My son, my children have been told to follow the laws that go against my word. And yet... Like sheep to the slaughter, they blindly follow. When my children's knees are bloodied from the prayer, then there will their eyes be open. And more and more chaos reigns in the streets of the cities. Some of my children will rise up and shout the good news. Many, however, will stay silent, fearing what may happen to themselves. I say, if I abide in you, then you should have no fear. As three Hebrew boys would not bow to the statue Nebuchadnezzar, statue of Nebuchadnezzar, they had no fear. They, they knew I was with them. They were ready and walked with great faith into the furnace. You too, my children, must learn to walk in great faith. Faith comes from knowing my word. My son, I have not revealed to you what, I, what will come after the two weeks to prepare. That has been given to another watchman to share. And I believe that's Dana, of course. But I also believe that there's like probably 30 other people who've gotten the same uh, stuff in different words as well. So he's told a lot of his sons and daughters what's coming. There's coming a day when the voices will fall silent. If my children have, he have heeded the warnings I have shouted, and sought me daily in prayer, they will know my face. I'm sorry, they will know my voice. I will lead and guide them. My remnant who have been marked will lead many to areas of safety that have all been prepared. I believe that's the first round. My son, I ask my children, are you ready to walk as those before you? 
I say many will per perish in the coming days as key events unfold and drive those in power underground, which is already happening. Do not look for your king to save you. No matter how many laws he signs, he can't stop the judgments coming on this vile nation. There's no place to hide, no way to pray them away. They are set in motion now. Have you prepared? Are you ready? Repent now. Turn from your evil ways and loose lifestyles and come to me. I will forgive you and set your feet on the solid rock. Repent now from the callousness and dig into my word. My word is the only truth. Trust no man or man's words unless they can be found in my word. Are you ready? There are only two weeks left to prepare in earnest. Then all will know why. Will you hear my voice? Repent now. Amen. Given by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wake up, guys. Wake up. Now this one, this one I came up um, on my feed a little while ago, and um, we had actually listened to her the other night, and I just felt led to share this. I have not even heard this, although, gosh, it's 23 minutes. I can't go that long. So I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to have to put that one in the um, description box, and if you guys want to hear it, it's cool. She's got some a few good words, actually. Her name is Hope Owens. So if you want to go check her channel out, she looks pretty good. Um, and this one, oh, this one. I'm, so it's only, it's a short message, even though it says eight minutes. This is really interesting. Um, this came up, you know how things just come up on the feed and it's never by accident. We know, I know the Lord brought this up. This was a word from Sister Mary <clears throat> from, um, hang on. Handmaiden, Handmaiden of the Lord on YouTube, like Handmaiden something, God's Handmaiden, God's Handmaiden, yes. And she got this word in August of 2016, and it's literally describing everything that's about to go down. And it just happened to come up, come up on my feed, I'm like, I gotta play this, so I'm gonna play this, okay? Hello everybody, it's Reverend Mary, and I received a word on Friday. August the 26th at 5 p.m. The Lord said, September, September 28th. For some, it will be too late. Don't wait. Prepare, gather, store up, be prepared. Food, water, oil for lamps, batteries, etc. Necessities. Get ready now. Prepare. I say, tell others to prepare now. Don't wait. It will be too late. Remember the date, September 28th. Don't delay. That is the day, September 28th. September will go by fast. You will see more natural disasters, fires burning, civil unrest. People are being put to the test. No rest. Wake up. Now turn to me. Fall on your knees. It is I you shall seek and see me. I am God, the only one who controls the world. You are not in control. I am. It is me that you'll seek. Don't delay. There's not another day. There is no other way but by me. And that was the word. And today... Is September the 1st, 2016, and the Lord has allowed me to hear the emergency broadcast warning. That's it. That's where we heard it. She heard the emergency broadcast warning, and what did this one say? Let me go right back up. Um, no, it's here. I had a flash dream about the emergency alert system flashing all over the world. There it is right there. Wow. You talk about confirmation. You talk about confirmation. Amazing. Amazing. Three times today, he has dropped it in my spirit once again that he had already told me six months ago that he was going to use a cataclysmic event, and he has dropped September in six months ago. And so today was it. I didn't want to put this word on because it had a date, but now he's saying, put on every word that I am giving you because it is to warn my people should be ready. Wow, guys. I mean, wow. These are some seriously heavy words. Uh, so we've got, just do a quick rundown. So this one says, literally tomorrow, 
He said, right, get out of the cities. Get out of the cities. Tomorrow there's going to be a blast. Guys, got to watch it. Just look to the Lord. If you're not called to leave, just be obedient and listen to him and he'll guide you. And at that moment, he'll tell you to go. Okay? And then this one. Time's up. She was saying, um, I can't remember what the, I think this was just a warning. Um, I can't remember what it said, but the, it, it's a, the three days of darkness is coming. There's a lot of stuff that's about to go down. And I don't mean coming. I mean, it's like imminent. This stuff's imminent now, guys. Uh, the crossing, uh, seven more days. This is the other one. Uh, God's gift got a word, seven more days, seven more days. And then this brother, prepare, prepare, prepare for a change in your government. Change in your government. Take a wild guess what that one is. Bye-bye, T-R-U-M-P. <laughs> uh, this one, all the warnings of what's coming. More warnings of what's coming. Two weeks. Two weeks. All the time, you guys, imminent, 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 imminent. I don't know how many times I can say that. It's crazy. China, this was a China vision. China's about to come down. Now, the last, there is a word about um, they will come from the north. I really believe that's China because somebody, I think I've said this before, but somebody on our team last year, year and a half ago, got that China was coming from the north. I'm telling you, it's coming. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today for the, uh, the words. Uh, just wanted to update you. We love you guys. Great big hugs to everybody. And um, as long as we cannot be on, we will be on as, as the Lord leads, okay? God bless you all, and um, we'll talk soon. Alrighty, bye-bye.